up guys for today's video we're going to do something a little bit special we're not really going to do a review but we're going to cover something that i've been extremely excited to do for a very long time but before we get into it as always let's do a quick wrist check today i am rocking my citizen tough a fantastic watch some issues with it but i've got the link to my video review on it on the screen here so check it out and you can see or make a determination on yourself what you think about this watch but still absolutely fantastic I do very much like it flaws and all going back to the video so in front of you I've got the Seiko SNJ025 and here is basically the information for you that comes on the box you've got a fairly steep price tag but you can definitely easily find it for cheaper online but uh, this one is known as the Arnie because Arnold Schwarzenegger, the man himself, has worn this watch, or at least the same style watch. This is really more of a reissued version, but you know, back in the 80s, he wore this in several different movies and really kind of made it an iconic timepiece for a lot of watch fanatics. Now, for me, I absolutely love this watch. It's super fun. You know, it's obviously not perfect. There are some things that you can make it better, but really it's the fun factor for me. Now, I'm kind of in a stage where I prefer bracelets. You know, I love the silicone band that this comes in. It's phenomenal, and I love the black shroud here. But I'm kind of just in a metal phase in my life where I really like the look of brushed and chrome or polished steel. So what I want to do is I want to take this commando watch and turn it into a Terminator watch. And it's a pretty easy process. I've got in front of you a strap code 22 millimeter hex ad bracelet. And then I've ordered this steel shroud. Here, we'll take a look at it. We'll zoom in here, see what we're looking at here. Now, this upgrade is not cheap. I mean, it's not super expensive, but the grand total came up to about 180 to around 190 after taxes and shipping and all that stuff. I don't know why these shrouds are so expensive. I think the cheapest one you can find online is probably going for about 70 to 80 dollars if you go on eBay or AliExpress. And then the bracelet cost about 70 bucks before taxes. So, you know, definitely not a cheap upgrade so if you want to do this keep in mind you're gonna to have to fork over a couple hundred bucks for this one and then uh, you know about two hundred dollars uh, for the total package um, it's a pretty simple process all you need is a Torx head or a Torx driver which hold on that's not focusing at all there we go and then just a simple band removing tool so let's go ahead and get started so with the Arnie if you want to do this upgrade you don't have to do it in a specific order you can remove the shroud first or the band first it doesn't matter if you're gonna start off with the shroud take notice of these um, hex head screws so there's three of them one two and three these screws are the things that are holding the shroud onto the main case of the watch so again, with the tools that we have, so our Torx bit or Torx driver right here, we're just going to go ahead and remove these three, and then we'll go on to the next step. As you can see, I have already removed these screws. Um, keep in mind, there is a little bit of Loctite on these screws, so you want to make sure that you work them a little bit. Don't just go ahead and apply full torque on them, or else you run the risk of either stripping the head or you know possibly damaging the threading but after a little bit of working they come out fairly easily and it it is a very quick process I think it take took me all of like 30 seconds so it comes off just like this this plastic shroud now I will say once you take off the shroud you will immediately notice just how flimsy and plasticky it is I mean granted it is plastic or maybe some type of resin I'm just gonna call it plastic and you know, if I applied any more pressure on this, I could probably snap it easily. But here you go. This is what you're looking at with a naked Arnie. So next step is going to be removing the band. So all you're going to do is take your little tool right here. And then let's go ahead and remove this band. 
Now we've got the strap removed. Uh, the great thing about this one is because this is a silicone, very grippy texture, it's going to hold these lug bars in place very securely and not go flying out like a rocket ship into the ether never to be found again. But very quick process as well. Again, probably took me all of 15 seconds to do. So uh, let's go with the next step, which will be putting on the Hexad bracelet. I'm very excited about this. Now we've got the bracelet on. This is what we're looking at here. I think even like this, it still looks fairly decent. I'm not really a fan of the naked Arnie, but I think there is a group of people that would probably appreciate this style. So here, yeah, there you go. Take a look at that. All right, and I can't wait. Let's go ahead and put on that steel shroud right there. And just like that, the moment you've all been waiting for, there we go. Look at that bad boy. This might not be your cup of tea, but I cannot lie to you guys. This is just absolutely sexy to me. I really do like the way this looks. I feel like this is the way that the Arnie should have been from the very beginning. Again, my personal preference, and I'm sure maybe down the line I will get into a resin or silicone or plastic phase again but you know I really feel like this metal stage is gonna stick for a very long time this is kind of like a I guess a digital tuna and let's go ahead and compare it next to a tuna very similar qualities here but man that looks absolutely fantastic let's do a wrist shot for you look at that God, I can't wait to wear this tomorrow at work. Alright, so that, that was it for the video. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I really just wanted to show this off to you. And, you know, for those of you that do have Arnie's, this is definitely a very fun, easy project to do. Not very cheap. Again, this is going to run you about 200 bucks on top of the initial cost of buying the Arnie itself. So, just keep that in mind. But I think it's totally worth it. The only downside is that because of COVID and all that stuff, shipping is going to take you a very long time. Because as far as I know, the only shrouds available are all in Asia, in um, Hong Kong and Singapore. So I ordered this from a store in Singapore. And um, I think ordering from Singapore is fine. Just make sure they don't use Singapore Post. Because in my experience, they were absolutely horrible. Their website was atrocious. And uh, I... Be pretty much thought that they had lost my package for a month straight until the shroud just appeared in my doorstep um, out of nowhere. But again, I might just have a negative experience. So anyways, that's all I got to say. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I sure as hell enjoyed making this happen. So, um, you know, please make sure to subscribe, show some support and uh, make sure to tune in for my next video. All right. Bye.